The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. Well, apparently there still is value to be had in the market, and our value strategist Tracy Rangnick is going to tell us exactly what it is. And I say that yeah. because a lot of viewers out there don't know you and I talk, and we've said this in previous Zach's Rank Buy videos as well, but if they missed it, uh, you always say that uh, as the market environment uh, evolves, right. uh, it's getting harder and harder to find value stocks. That's right. Yeah, but you've come up with a couple. I have. Um, managed to find some this week. But yeah, as we keep hitting new highs on these major indexes here and the PE gets a little stretched on the S&P 500, it becomes harder and harder for us value investors to find anything decent. Yeah. Well, the one that you uh, came up with on your radar, Lakeland Industries, they manufacture uh, safety garments. Yes, like kind what? of like hazmat suits. Oh. I always think of, you know, outbreak and stuff mm -hmm. where they're in the big <laughs> suits, but right. someone has to make that, and Lakeland right. is the one that makes it. Okay. They have uh, two kind of separate segments. They have the, a core business that is what you would consider to be regular industries, you know, petrochemicals, auto industry, anywhere where someone has to be completely covered. Mm -hmm. Then you have the medical area, just even in labs and things, you need, you know, a super secure environment, so you have to buy these kinds of suits. But also, with the recent outbreaks of various conditions, like yes. Ebola, the MERS in South Korea, and mm. now the avian flu in the Midwest, you yeah. also need coverings. And actually, the Ebola outbreak, I mean, it sounds strange, but that outbreak, um, because so many U.S. medical professionals and even European medical professionals were going to Africa and they were putting on these Lakeland suits, mm. it's actually increased brand awareness of their product. So they really do think, I know that sounds weird. Good but for they, them. I but. know, but they really do think, you know, we can increase our market share in the medical community because now they know Lakeland, they know these worked, they know the quality and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So strangely, these outbreaks do help them sure. um, with sales, but they just reported earnings and their core business was up 8% in sales, um, and overall they saw a 14% increase. So I kind of consider these um, outbreak kind of orders to be, you know, separate from the core. The core is the key. Anything above that is, is basically gravy, mm -hmm. and they're doing well on both of those areas. Now, one kind of side thing is that they have decided to get out of Brazil, but they mainly um, have relationships in 10 countries now, but they are exiting the Brazil business. Why is that significant? Well, Brazil, big country, could be a lot of business down there, but um, they're going to, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a charge or whatever to get out of that business. But yeah. the analysts don't see this as a bad thing. They see it as a good thing in the kind of consolidating the business. Um, you can see the estimates here. Um, big earnings gain compared to last year because of all these things, because their core business is doing so well. And then you have these interesting outbreaks going on. Mm. Um, so we got some good earnings growth expected for this year, which is what we want to see. And then the chart looks a little strange here because last year there was this huge spike in the shares. But that was during the Ebola outbreak when we were having some medical professionals coming back to the U.S. and the scares on some airplane flights. Mm -hmm. And everybody was basically buying Ebola stocks. And that's what this was. Everybody just surged into it because they do make the hazmat suits. And... Um, share spike, but now is your chance to actually get in at a decent valuation. I mean, so that's what an outbreak looks like on a stock Basically, chart. yes. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of the mania there, playing the trend, because that was the trend last year. Right. But none of these have gone away. Interesting that MERS outbreak in South Korea hasn't prompted everybody to suddenly buy the stock again. So basically now is your chance. Mm -hmm. Trading a little bit over 11 times, so it does have good value credentials, plus the earnings estimates increasing and earnings growth and you know it's an interesting play here now that the shares have come back down all right well a company whose business isn't really hinged on tragedy no is mi homes they're a home builder yes um i haven't covered many of the home builders either but a lot of them are actually value stocks here because um you know they've been down on their luck then they soared in 2012 they mm. were the best performing sector of that year and then they've kind of had a little bit of a trouble zone <laughs> since then. But housing has been coming back. And this spring, we're seeing another hot uh, spring selling market. And 
uh, new home sales are picking up as well as existing home sales. And you can see that in their earnings. Um, they haven't reported second quarter yet. They reported first quarter last April. But you can see 35% earnings growth uh, expected for this year, you know, similar for next year. They had uh, backlog growth in the first quarter. They had a jump, double digit jump in the new orders. They saw gross margin increases. MI Homes is mainly Midwest. I mean, their headquarters in Ohio. But they also are in some of the really hot markets like Texas, which is super hot right now, despite the oil industry slowdown. Dallas is one of the hottest markets. And then they're also in Florida, which is really regaining some strength, and the Washington, D.C. suburbs, which is also a strong market. So kind of kind of like where their communities are located here. Mortgage rates are still low, so people are still going out to buy. Um, job market is better. People get interested in buying a house when the job market is good because they mm -hmm. feel more confident. And you can look at this chart. This is kind of, you know, there's no momentum going on here. It's just up and down and back and forth. This is true of basically almost all the home builders. They can't get any traction. But it's trading around 13 times, so it does have some value here. And if we can see, you know, the job market continuing to improve, I think the housing market will be pulled up with it. You wrote, though, that land costs rising have eaten into their margins just a bit. Not really a yeah. big problem, though, right? Um, no, but, I mean, land for all the home builders, that's key because that's how you build your communities. And the land prices have soared. So that's also why you see the average home price for a lot of these home builders also has been rising over the last couple of years. You know, they're raising the prices to counteract some of the land prices. Sure. So right now, I think the home builders um, have accumulated a decent amount, but price is something to watch going forward. All right. Do you own either one? I do not. All right. Check out more stocks and stock picking strategies on our website, zax.com. If you're not there watching this video already, Get her on over. You can link to it all right off the homepage with Tracy. I'm Terry Ruffalo.